All right, so this is a test of the sewing machine with the stock pulley on the motor set to 500 RPMs. We're just going to take a look at uh, how it looks before I put the speed reducer on it. So this is just as slow as I can to start it. A little jumpy for me. It doesn't start quite slow. And then as we go to full speed, it's all set to the lowest speed of the sewing machine motor. So slow, start, stop, start, stop. And that's full speed. All right, we just changed the the pulley on the servo motor from 75 millimeters to 45 millimeters. Let's see how it works. Here we go. We're going to start and stop a couple times, see how slow it goes. I can kind of stop it wherever I want. I go really slow around a corner, and then it's time to go fast. much better and I can adjust the speed of the motor to go even faster but I couldn't adjust it before to go even slower. So now that's just by changing the pulleys on the motor. Now it's to add the speed reducer which should help it start much slower. Let's see what happens. A fair bit of time later I've installed my speed reducer. This is two days later. We're at the slowest speed, same speed we are before but this time we have the speed reducer so let's see how it starts. I can stop at any point I want in the cycle. And that's full speed. But if I want to stop at the bottom, stop at the bottom, if I want to stop at the top, stop at the top. That's what we're doing. So here's 2000 RPMs with the speed reducer. We're gonna just start it. Barely pressing the pedal, I can still start and stop. And then full speed. Come back, go slow, and stop. It's pretty awesome. When I say speed reducer, we've got this shaft right here. Goes into this pillow block, half inch pillow block, half inch shaft. This is the motor pulley I replaced for the second attempt. It was a larger pulley and this is a smaller one. It goes up to this big wheel, big pulley, slows it down, and there's a smaller pulley right here that goes up to my machine wheel. But this rod, I didn't have enough room to mount this rod like real tight. I had to do a little chipping away at the wood up here with a spade bit to make room for my big wheel to clear up there. But now it works great. And I was thinking I was gonna put the rod, the pillow blocks here. I was thinking of putting another pillow block uh, somewhere up here, but I did not. I did not have the space for that. So, I had to go with the rod all the way across, across the foot pedal rod, all the way across the oil pan, and put the other pillow block all the way over here. They're just mounted to a piece of unistrut with strut nuts. And, uh, there you go, that's the speed reducer. The one issue I ran into is that the pulleys I bought, this one and this one from Tractor Supply. I think this is a six inch and this is like a two inch or inch and a half. Um, they take a larger belt than the sewing machine pulley does. And then the, 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 this wheel, I don't know what the hell you call it. The wheel on the uh, sewing machine, the pulley. Um, if you can, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's overflowing the channel that it has set. Um, it's the one problem I had that if I got a belt that was the right size for this one and the sewing machine wheel, then it would not fit in my pulleys. It would be too small for my pulleys. So I just went to Napa and got these larger, I don't know, they're called A-belts, or I think these are 4L belts. It's an A32 belt is the big belt, and this other belt some small little uh, garden mower belt, something like that. Um, they work just fine. They overflow a little bit. Well, let's see. You can tell it's kind of a little big here. Doesn't quite go in the groove, settle in all the way, but it seems to work just fine. So um, I'd say err on the, the larger side of your belts instead of the smaller side if you uh, have the option because it's what I found.
worked best for me. So this is with a Conso CSM 3000, I think from Amazon motor, servo motor, replacing old clutch motor. So there you go. If you want to put in a speed reducer on your sewing machine, you can definitely do it.